We said nonlinearities are needed so we can represent more complicated relationships. While that is true, it isn't the full picture. An important consequence of including nonlinearities is the ability to stack layers. Stacking layers is the process of placing one layer after the other in a meaningful way. Remember that, it's fundamental. The point we will make is that we cannot stack layers when we have only linear relationships. Let's prove it. Imagine we have a single hidden layer and there are no nonlinearities. So, our picture looks this way. There are eight input nodes, nine hidden nodes in the hidden layer, and four output nodes. Therefore, we have an 8 by 9 weights matrix for the linear relationship between the input layer and the hidden layer. Let's call this matrix W1 and the hidden units H. According to the linear model, H is equal to X times W1. Let's ignore the biases for a while. So, our hidden units are summarized in the matrix H with a shape of 1 by 9. Now, let's get to the output layer from the hidden layer. Once again, according to the linear model, Y is equal to H times W2. We have W2 as these weights are different. We already know the H matrix is equal to X times W1, right? Let's replace H in this equation. Y is equal to X times W1 times W2. But W1 and W2 can be multiplied, right? What we get is a combined matrix, W star, with dimensions 8 by 4. Well then, our deep net can be simplified into a linear model, which looks this way. Y equals X times W star. Knowing that, we realize the hidden layer is completely useless in this case. We can just train this simple linear model and we would get the same result. In mathematics, this seems like an obvious fact, but in machine learning, it is not so clear from the beginning. The two consecutive linear transformations are equivalent to a single one. Even if we add 100 layers, the problem would be simplified to a single transformation. That is the reason we need nonlinearities. Without them, stacking layers one after the other is meaningless. And without stacking layers, we will have no depth. What's more, with no depth, each and every problem will equal the simple linear example we did earlier. And many practitioners would tell you it was borderline machine learning. Alright, let's summarize in one sentence. To have deep nets and find complex relationships through arbitrary functions, we need nonlinearities. Point taken. Thanks for watching.